do not sign any releases for social services. Not even if you request help. You have the option to request preventive services, which are supposed to be there to prevent something. But they don't. They just all act like CPS workers. They're just all on you constantly. Doesn't matter what you say. They twist it around. Just like my new caseworker, Kay, who keeps calling my neurologist a chiropractor. There's a vast difference. And why she's trying to minimize this, I don't know. When I try to tell her I was hit by a car for so, from social services, and she says, how, how long ago was that? What? If it was yesterday, is that ancient history too? Okay. I'm not claiming you hit me. Why are you taking this so personal? What the fuck do you care? Do you know Ruth Drum? If it was you, and now you were having problems years later, as any doctor can tell you, especially a neurologist, that when there's an injury, the body hangs on to it, and it tends to get worse over time because bodies deteriorate. Are you uneducated or just a bitch? Please. Look up what a chiropractor is and stop insulting my neurologist, Dr. Sethi, by minimizing him to a chiropractor. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. I feel sorry for anyone who has to work with you. I see the way you treat Candace, your supervisor. You are a horrible, horrid person. You try to gaslight me every time we talk. You tell me that you drove yourself home after a hysterectomy. I don't even believe you had one. You will lie about anything just to try to get the upper hand on somebody. I had a hysterectomy, okay? And if you had the little hysterectomy with the... Uh, where you just get the little slits in your stomach and they put a little couple of tubes in to do whatever on a little camera. No, okay? They split me from my belly button to my pubic bone because not only did I have a hysterectomy, they had to repair uh, hernia, okay? And if any of you people bothered to fill the releases you have me sign, you would know all this information. Do not sign releases for social services. It's pointless. They don't fill them. 20 years ago, I went through this with my older kids. Signed all the releases. They did not fulfill any of them. I was taking my kids to the doctor every goddamn week to Dr. Terracone's office, took shit from the school for taking my kids out a half hour early because of it for allergy shots. And I'm indicated for medical neglect. How does that happen? So now I need back surgery and they refuse to fill these releases and just keep minimizing it to I need a chiropractor. Now, if you look at my Facebook, either Tammy Sanford, Tammy Jean Sanford, I don't know which one right now. I have my x-rays posted for everyone to look at. And you tell me, can a chiropractor help me? You don't even have to be a doctor to evaluate that, okay? I don't know about the rest of the country and I don't know about the rest of New York State, but I'm telling you right now, here in New York State, in Del uh, Delaware County, I have been dealing with these assholes my entire life. And it started when they hit me with their car. 
I went down to Joanne Moxley at the school, the social worker, and I told her all the time what was going on in my household. And all she told me as a 14-year-old was the serenity prayer. And I told her, I don't even know what the fuck that means. My daughter Brittany went to that school. You know what I told my kids, Brittany, Ashley, and Nathan? Listen, if there's shit going on, you go to the school and you tell. You tell a teacher, tell the uh, guidance counselor, tell the social worker, tell somebody. Even if it's about me, you go down and tell. Well, little did I know, that's all they wanted to tell was shit about me. They were so scared of their father, which Brittany and I have discussed this several times. Everything that happened in John's house, she blamed on me because she thought she'd get help. Well, that ain't how it worked. She should have told the truth. All three of you should have just told the goddamn truth way back then. You guys are all adults now. And this is where you end up when you don't tell the truth. When you spend your entire life lying. And part of the reason they kept lying for John is because he kept telling them, John, their father, John Banks, that he had some massive life insurance policy that they were all on. Of course, promised them things like four-wheelers and clothes and this and that and whatever else. You know, the typical grooming shit, which never, never materialized. Um, and I talked to Jennifer, I don't know, maybe three years ago now. And I told her about this and she was baffled. And she says, John has no life insurance. The life insurance is mine. Do you think my kids are going to get any of that? So they have been following him around, nose up his ass all this time, thinking they were going to cash in and it ain't happening. Sucks to be them, I guess stupid. I told them the whole time, their whole lives, he's lying to you. Anyone that has been in an abusive relationship, any woman, especially in a pretend Bible belt bullshit in place like here, where the men rule, women are just bought and sold pieces of shit just meant to stay home and take care of the house and oops if the man can't make enough money now you get to do that and now you go get to get a job too and then you try to leave these abusive men nobody believes you they all stick up for the man that's what happens here in Delaware County I have an entire record to prove it I tried once to have a fair trial. John said there was a Danielle that seen me doing something. And it was supposed to be a Danielle Coons. But then when it came time for social services to talk to Danielle Coons, John and her were fucking, which his current wife isn't supposed to know about. But in fact, they were. Um... They didn't talk to a Danielle Coons. They talked to a completely different Danielle, a DJ. So then she became the witness to, supposedly, I left my kids out in the car. Well, no, John Banks pulled up right next to me out front of Great American. Wasn't even supposed to be around me because I had an order of protection. I drove directly to the police department, reported it, but then he got away with saying that. Yep. This is my life with social services. You people better get educated and you people better stop going to them. They're not going to help you. All people around here are is uneducated and judgy. They wouldn't know good parenting if it slapped them upside the fucking head.